way of, uh, of duos. Anyway, Jeff, thank you so much for coming on. Um, I mean, there's so many things that we could talk about with you. One of the things, and the reason I think we're having you on, is your book, The Maxims of Manhood, which uh, I read a few weeks ago and loved it. It was a great read. It was a lot of fun. Thanks a uh, lot. No, no, no. It's, I'm being honest. I read it... Um, it was a few weeks ago, I went on vacation for a weekend with a buddy of mine and basically read it over the weekend, pretty much by the pool during the day. And it was one of those things where like, I'm reading it and I start like laughing out loud and I turn to him and I, you know, will quote something from the book and he'll be like, yeah, we've always thought that, but we never actually said it. Or he might say, he might argue with it or he might be like, oh, I never thought of that. And we kind of went back and forth during the day uh, at the pool. And then we would go out at night and see if we could put some of these maxims to use. We see how many we broke uh, over the course of the weekend. But it was what a was great, that final number? It was by a the great way, read. Be, we broke tons of them, to be honest. <laughs> did with I you. get you guys thrown in jail? I hope my book's not responsible. For <laughs> no, crap. not at all. Not at all. I did. We did get slapped in the face a couple of times, but drink, drink thrown at you probably a few times. Less than normal. So okay. you know. So maybe your book did help. <laughs> Um, but anyway, okay, so actually before we get into that, let's cut to the important stuff. Sure. Something I read on your website, and I have to ask you, you interviewed Clooney? Is that true? Yes, well, so part of my, I've done a lot of different things as far as pop culture writing and stuff, and one thing I did for a while was uh, kind of celebrity journalism. Often it would be, a, you know, it's funny, the way this world works is often you have several journalists interviewing one kind of corner celebrity at the same time to promote their movies. Mm -hmm. So me and a few other folks asked Clooney and Matt Damon questions about, you know, about their films, about what's going on in their lives. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, full of tawdry, weird tales and stuff. It's good, good times. <laughs> It's actually George Clooney's brother, Larry. Larry he didn't Clooney. specify which You're right, Clooney. I didn't say... You found me out. That's true. I'm hoping to keep See, that under wraps. We have two rules on single mentality. The first rule of single mentality is Clooney is God. The second rule of single mentality is Clooney is God. So when I saw that on your website, I had to ask you about it. So... You know. I'm happy to report, by the way, he was super cool and down-to-earth in person. Of like some of, these, some of these guys, you read about, you see their films, meet in person, like, oh my God, the guy's kind of a, kind of a D-bag, right? But no, he was super cool, so happy to report that. Good. That's, he seems course. like he would be the real deal. He I does. don't know, I'm just saying. All right, Jeff, at some point, we're going to get to, a little bit later on, we're going get, to get to a new project you're working on, um, theplunge.com. We're going to talk about your uh, man cave book that you're writing, but first, let's get to the Maxims of Manhood. Uh, this is a book that Honestly, the way I felt about it, it could have been written by any one of my buddies. And I don't mean that they can actually write a book, but... Let alone read one. Exactly. But they, <laughs> it, was, it was written like a friend of yours was, was talking to you. Yeah. It was very interactive, I felt. Kind of like when I was telling you about how he and I were reading it. You know, it's something that you, you, you have to, like, audibly respond to because it's very... Um, I, I don't know what the word is, but it, it prompts that kind of thing. I guess, like... A couple of things that I, I want to know. How did the book come about, first of all? Well, in a way, it was a very easy book to write because of what you said. Like, so much of what I did was just talk to my buddies and say, all right, you know, what, what are the rules of being a guy? And I, in, in a way, I don't believe necessarily there are any real hardcore rules. But as you're saying, we all have these theories in life. And, you know, there are always unspoken kind of code of behavior that men have. And so a lot of this is just stuff that I know, you know, your buddies know, we all kind of know, but I'd never really seen codified in one place. And the few times I do see it, it's one of two extremes. It's either like the super caveman approach, like, okay, it's the, you know, rah, rah, men drink beer and don't think. It, don't get me wrong, I like beer and that's part of the book and stuff, but it's a either cartoonishly kind of dumbed down caveman approach, or it's the other extreme, there are no gender differences at all. We are, we're all just kind of blobs of people, and let's not at all think about genders. And so I kind of wanted to find some, I'm like, you know, there's probably some common ground in the middle or some gray area where it's okay to talk about masculinity in a way that's not insulting to either men or to women. That was kind of the goal. I think, actually, that's a good point, and something that I think you achieved um definitely achieved, I, I sort of mentioned this to you on an email, you, um, 
you, you walked the line very well of something that was uh, honest and funny and insightful, yet not offensive. Because, you know, there are certain things that guys can talk about, about women, that guys sort of talk about in private, that I think sometimes women could be offended, you know, at. And I think sure. you did a great job of sort of walking that line and not offending anybody. I mean, was that, that something actually that... actually disappointed me. <laughs> well, I, I, I would actually... I would take a fan, uh, take an exception to the idea if I didn't offend anybody. There, are, I get plenty of hate mail here and there. Really, really? very that's nice. Just my own family alone. You know? <laughs> right. Well, I was, I was going to ask you, what was some of the more interesting, uh, different types of feedback you got from the book? I mean, I, I have people who took it very, very serious. I mean, it, it's it's a it's supposed to be a, a joke book, right? Mm. So, I mean, it's a joke book mixed with some reality and some truth and some wisdom, hopefully, right? It's primarily kind of a tongue-in-cheek book. Mm. And so I have people who, 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 who reviewed it and said, you know, I really disagree with a few of these rules. This, this, this is inappropriate. I'm like, it's, it, it's like one of the rules, for instance, is you're immune to colds. Like, I don't <laughs> I mean, I ever actually think that men physiologically are immune to cold. I mean... I am, but I wouldn't think most men are, right? right. So, I'm so. freezing right now, by the way, and I'm on a jacket in here, but... Right. But right. I think that's something that you want. You want, if you're putting out a piece of work, something, especially something that you've created, you want a reaction. You don't want people to be indifferent. You want them to either love it or hate it. You want to elicit some type of response. So I think that's a tremendous thing, whether the feedback was positive or negative. True, but I think that, uh, and Jeff, you know, tell me if you think this is, is right or not. I mean. I thought you made it pretty clear that it was tongue in cheek. I mean, some of the things yeah. in here, first of all, there was a lot of self-deprecating humor, I thought, and you did a good job of sort of throwing that in there to kind of diffuse any sort of negative reaction. And I don't know, I, I just thought that there was enough humor in there and enough, I mean, your last maxim, wasn't it, don't listen to rules? Wasn't right. that like, you, don't follow last, rules? Maxim 100 is never blindly follow rules or maxims. And I say that I've personally broken countless of these. Um, but uh, yeah, and so it's, it's, people take it really seriously. It kind of amused me. Um, probably the, the funniest review I got was uh, someone who said, this is a really funny book, um, you know, really engaging. It's funny. But it kind of reminds me of a, a quote a uh, D-bag coworker I used to work with, so they, so he gave it one star on Amazon <laughs> because <laughs> he enjoyed right. the book. But uh, that was terrific. I love the fact that it reminded him someone, so he panned it, which is you know that's fair enough, I guess. All right, so uh, there are a few of 